Hey guys, tonight I'm going to show you how to do the air skimmer drawing. Um, the video that we showed you in class didn't work super great because the guy on that video was using a manila folder instead of a piece of cardstock, so I'm going to use a piece of cardstock. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label each of the corners, that way I can kind of refer to the corners of the paper and that'll make it a little bit easier to understand. So I'm going to make this one A and B and C and D. Notice I am holding my cardstock paper lengthwise in front of me and it is 11 inches wide by eight and a half inches long. The skimmer you're going to make, the body of it is 11 inches wide. So there's no reason to cut anything off um, to make it the right length. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure down four inches from my corner B and make a little tick mark. And I'm going to measure down four inches from my corner A and make a little tick mark there as well. Now, you can notice the ruler. This one happens to have just a little bit of extra wood uh, before the scale starts. So I'm going to make sure that I'm always measuring from the beginning of the scale and not from the edge of the ruler. So once I've got my four inches marked, I'll just use my ruler as a straight edge to draw a line. Next, I got to make the rails that the skimmer is going to ride on. They're each half an inch long. So on the B to D side, I'm going to measure a half an inch from the line that I just drew and a half an inch from the edge of the paper. And the A to C side, I'm going to do the same thing, half an inch from the edge of the paper, half an inch from the line that I drew a second ago. And then these two lines will need to be dotted lines as opposed to solid lines. In terms of drawings like this and models like this, anytime you have a solid line, you're going to eventually cut that. And anytime you have a dotted line, it's going to be folded. So the last step on the body of your skimmer is to create the fold line for the flap that'll be at the back. So to do that, I'm going to measure along these dotted lines. I need to measure three inches from the A to C side of my paper. So three inches from there and three inches up here by the A. And then that will also be a dotted line. For the next step, I'm going to go ahead and make the fins and the air scoop that's going to make sure that everything goes where it's supposed to go. So all of those things are gonna be three inches and that's because the air scoop needs to fit in between in the middle of the skimmer that you just made. So to make things easier on myself, I'm gonna measure three inches up from the bottom of the paper on both sides. I'm just gonna make a line all the way across and that'll save me from having to draw a bunch of lines a bunch of different times and that's really just uh it's just a line there to kind of help out so it doesn't have to be super dark but it does need to be straight now first thing i'm going to do i'm going to make my two fins and i'm going to make those over here on the c corner of the page the the fins are going to be made the easiest way i find is to start with two three inch by three inch squares so i'm just going to start from the edge and mark three inches and make a little mark and then mark three more inches and make a little mark and then down on the bottom of the paper one more time three inches from the edge make a little mark three inches from the edge make a little mark and then i'll use my ruler to go ahead and make those squares these are going to be cut lines so they're going to be solid now, for the actual fins, the fins are kind of triangles with little corners cut off, and those corners are a half an inch. So I'm going to mark half an inch from the edge of that square, and a half an inch from the edge of that square, and then down here at the bottom, I'm going to mark a half an inch from the bottom edge, and then just use my ruler to connect all of those marks. Right. And there's the shape of the fins. Now, you can cut the fins a little differently if you'd like. They can be triangles that go all the way to the edge. They can be like wavy lines instead. You could do it rounded if you wanted to. It's really up to you. It's not going to change the performance of your skimmer a whole lot. And you may find that some of those different designs actually make your skimmer better. Right. 
the last step here is going to be to draw out the air scoop. It's going to be underneath your skimmer. And it's going to be based on a square or a rectangle that is the same width as the distance between the dotted lines on your skimmer. In my skimmer, the, the lines are three inches apart. Uh, maybe you made a mistake and yours are a little bit wider. Uh, this is a place that you can correct that. So your air skimmer, uh, the scoop is going to be the three inch square, but it's going to have little wings on either side. So you need to draw it not all the way on the edge. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to start by measuring an inch off of the edge of my paper. Make a little tick mark on my line and an inch off down here at the very bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and draw in that line. And then I'll measure three inches to make a square. And draw that in. Now, the little uh, kind of ears that are going to protrude off of that, at the top, I'm going to measure an eighth of an inch outside of that square on both sides. And then down here on the edge of the paper, I'm going to measure three eighths of an inch outside of the square on both sides. And on your ruler, typically uh, on this one, I don't know if you can see or not, this one only has eighths. Typically the rulers that we have at school are going to have sixteenths of an inch, so it's going to be two of the little tiniest divisions, or um, an eighth is one of the, the divisions there. Um, and then you're just going to connect those lines at an angle. And that will give you something that looks kind of like this. Um, and in class, we'll give you instructions on how to cut out the parts of your skimmer and put it together so it'll work. Good luck.